Weirdest Animals in the Ocean Hey everyone, it's Lexa and welcome back to another video. The ocean covers 71% of the Earth's surface and contains 97% of our water. But how much do we know about the big blue world? Forget outer space, let's take a look at all the alien-like creatures on our own planet. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Dracula of the Sea the vampire squid's scientific name means vampire squid from hell. These small cephalopods only measure about one foot long, including their umbrella-like tentacles. When they mature, small fins protrude from the lateral sides of their head. Light-producing organs, called photophores, cover their body. They fend off predators by emitting disorienting flashes that can last from seconds to minutes. Vampire squids live in the deep sea at depths of two to 3,000 feet. The Ugliest Fish in the water, the blobfish doesn't look that different from any other fish. The title of the ugliest fish in the world seems a bit unfair, but wait until you see what these transform into when they're out of the water. The blobfish inhabits the deep waters off the coast of Australia, Tasmania, and New Zealand. As strange as they look, they pose no threat to humans. Only about 420 blobfish exist in the world, which makes them a very endangered species. Many fishers accidentally catch blobfish, which threatens the fish's number an alluring animal. If you were ever lost in the deepest regions of the ocean, you would probably hope to find some light. However, animals down there need to be careful because not all light is good light. The anglerfish is famous for the luminescent lure that grows out of its head. Scientists call this an esca, and it helps the fish not only trap prey, but female anglerfish also use it to catch the attention of males during mating season an insultingly violent fish. The sarcastic fringe head, quite possibly, has one of the best species names on Earth. They are small saltwater fish that measure 12 inches long. You can find them in the Pacific Ocean off the coasts of North America, from San Francisco down to Baja, California. Their distinct feature is their distended mouths that they primarily use for battle. It is the fringe head's way of asserting dominance over another fish. Usually, the fringe head with the bigger mouth wins. Look to the stars. Stargazer evokes the idea of something romantic. Then you see what an actual stargazer fish looks like and somehow the two concepts just don't connect. This fish is called the stargazer because it is perpetually looking at the sky. They burrow themselves into the sand of the ocean floor with their eyes pointing upward so that they can watch for prey swimming overhead. When their victims least expect it, the stargazer strikes and drags them down. The Creepy Shrimp the term amphipod refers to a taxonomic order of crustaceans. They look a lot like shrimp, but weirder and more translucent. Amphipods can be as small as 0 .0039 inches. If you're not a fan of creepy crawlies, you probably wouldn't think swimming with a bunch of these creatures is a pleasant experience. Needles for teeth the fang tooth looks similar to the anglerfish, but lacks that fleshy light that hangs over their faces. This deep sea fish can be found throughout the world in temperate and tropical ocean regions. The name for their genus is Anoplogaster, which is Greek for unarmed stomach. Their teeth are disproportionately large for their body stature. Even though they look scary, there haven't been any cases of them hunting humans. The Elusive Gulper Eel Humans rarely spot the gulper eel, also known as the pelican eel. Its mouth balloons open and can extend to be larger than its skinny body. In 2018, a group of scientists called the Nautilus Team took the first ever footage of a gulper eel in the Gulf of Mexico. Marine researchers used to think that they opened their mouths like this strictly to eat food, but some have theorized that the gulper eel behaves this way when they feel threatened. Fly away, elephant of the sea. Take a look at this little cutie. It sure looks a lot like a particular Disney elephant, doesn't it? Experts name this animal the Dumbo Octopus for its resemblance to the character, and it's easy to see why. With its flappy ear-like fins, it seems like the right decision. This octopus lives at depths of 9,800 to 13,000 feet, though some have been found as deep as 23,000 feet. They live all over the world, ranging from Monterey Bay, California, to the Philippines and Australia. The Water Dragon This Pacific Black Dragon resembles the dragons of Asian mythology. It's long, slinky, and lacks arms. They are ambush predators, meaning they blend in and hide and then attack unassuming prey. Female Pacific Black Dragons have long barbells that hang below their lower jaw and emit light to attract prey. Sharp teeth fill their mouths. Their bodies can grow to two feet long. Males are much smaller and have no teeth. They cannot feed since they never develop from the larval stage and only live long enough to find a mate and fertilize eggs. 
Small, but deadly. The blue-ringed octopus only reaches eight inches long at the most, but they are an animal not to be trifled with. They dwell in the coral reefs and tide pools of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. If you see one floating by, avoid it at all costs. They are one of the most venomous marine animals in the world, though they are quite docile creatures and their bites are often painless. One of these octopi has enough venom to kill 26 adult humans right in the water. These types of coral are referred to as sea pens because they look like quills people used to write with back in the day. Sea pens are colonial organisms consisting of many polyps. Most of them are brightly colored and grow up to six and a half feet long, not counting their roots. Though they are popular in the aquarium trade, caring for a sea pen can prove difficult because they have such specific needs. The Eel Shark the frilled shark lives throughout the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, found at a depth of about 5,000 feet. However, near Suruga Bay, Japan, they inhabit shallower waters at 600 feet. Their name derives from their teeth rose, causing their mouths to appear frilled. Inside their mouths are 300 teeth in all. Their bodies are long and less like a shark and more like an eel. Small body, big mouth. You would think that something dubbed the Mega Mouth Shark would be a monstrous beast, but this shark is the tiniest of all filter-feeding sharks. Still, they do grow up to about 18 feet long, with females being the larger ones. They have big mouths and small teeth. To feed, they open their mouths to suck in the water and then filter planktonic organisms by draining the water from its gills. Scientists discovered these types of sharks as late as 1976. Not much is known about their behavior. Soldiers of the Sea Grenadier fish live in the depths of the Arctic and the Antarctic. Most of them grow to about 4.9 feet long, though some are as small as 4 inches. They have tiny scales and what is called a rat tail at the end of their bodies. In comparison, they have large heads that come with barbells under their chins. Unless you live in a town by the seaside, you might never have thought to see this thing on the menu, but people love to fry them and eat them one frightening fish. Look into those eyes and tell us it doesn't feel like you're staring into the soulless gaze of a ghost. Spookfish, better known as ghost sharks or chimeras, live on the ocean floors of temperate waters which go as far down as 8,500 feet. Chimeras are distinct with their round heads and single gill. Their closest living relatives are sharks. However, chimeras don't have teeth and instead have three big grinding tooth plates. Those that eat stars. Star eaters, or snaggletooths, are little creatures that grow no more than a few inches. Currently, there are 48 recognized species in this genus. Short barbells hang from their jaws, which attract even smaller prey into their vicinity. Their teeth are thin and curved, so once that smaller animal comes into proximity, it's pretty much over for them. Look into their minds. The barrel eye is a type of spookfish named for their barrel-shaped telescoping eyes. These eyes protrude from their head and are enclosed inside a large, transparent dome as if you're looking right into their bodies. Something else strange is that the organs along their bellies glow. Barrel eye fish inhabit the Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic oceans. Huge water bugs. Anyone scared of insects would run away screaming if they ever encountered giant isopods. There are nearly 20 species of these critters that live in the colder waters of the Pacific, Indian, and Atlantic. Their size is a result of deep sea gigantism, making them appear like you're looking at a bug under a microscope. All isopods possess this segmented exoskeleton and seven pairs of jointed limbs. You won't find them crawling all over the place since isopods are restricted to benthic regions, which is on, in, or near the seabed. Play this coral. Coral comes in all different shapes and sizes. Sometimes they're lumpy. Sometimes they have long limbs. And harp coral, well, looks like a harp. Also known as the lyre coral. This sponge is a carnivorous species and was discovered in 2012. A group of scientists from the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute found the harp sponge off the coast of California at a depth of 10,800 feet. Usually, sponges feed on bacteria and microscopic organisms. However, the harp sponge eats bigger animals like crustaceans, using Velcro-like hooks to snag onto prey. Once they catch food, their digestive membranes engulf it and break it down to be absorbed through the sponge's pores. Goblin of the Deep Experts call this beast the living fossil because its lineage went back 125 million years ago. It remains the only representative from the family of sharks known as Mitsukorinidae. Goblin sharks are named for their pink flesh, elongated snout, and spiky teeth making them appear like the monster from fairy tales. They were first described in 1898 after a specimen was caught in Sagami Bay, Japan. 
Before we reveal number one, we have got a question for you. What is your favorite ocean-themed movie? Are you a Little Mermaid fan or are you more into Jaws or Pacific Rim? Let us know your favorites in the comments below. The Squid King. Here are other creatures that came about thanks to deep sea gigantism, the giant squid and the colossal squid. Male giant squids grow to 33 feet, while females can reach lengths of 43 feet. Colossal squids are slightly bigger at 46 feet. These two huge ocean dwellers are rarely ever spotted. It wasn't until 2004 did researchers take the first images of a live giant squid in its habitat. Most of them wash up already deceased. The colossal squid, also called the Antarctic squid, resides throughout a wide range, from the Antarctic to South America and New Zealand.